What's up people? Welcome back to Motion Cap. We will be watching the recap of the movie. What every French woman wants. Enjoy the video. A boy named Roger is returning home from his boarding school to spend the summer vacation. His mother has sent his maid Miss Muller in a horse cart to receive him. Due to bad suspension in the horse cart, Miss Muller's melons were bouncing, and staring at them was making Roger's little soldier desperate to come out. Miss Muller had realized Roger's intentions, but she didn't say anything to him. Sometime later, they finally arrive at his home, where his family members welcome him. Roger's mother notices something in his pants and asks him what is the white stuff in your pants, which is nothing, but the result of him staring at Miss Muller's melons. Roger's aunt defends him and tells his mom that it's common in this age, and she herself cleans his pants with a tissue paper. Roger has a younger sister named Bertha, she takes him to explore the forest where Roger meets Miss Muller again. She suddenly gets an urge to pee, and while standing, she starts to water the plants in front of Roger. Roger, in his mind couldn't believe what he just saw. So, he decides to take a walk in the forest but he slips off and falls in a bush, where he hears voices of a girl, and discovers that one of his maid Ursula is smashing with someone. Ursula spots Roger and smiles at him. Roger gets nervous and runs toward the house. In the night, he is having dinner with his family members. His mother is very strict when it comes to discipline and tells him to behave while eating. After dinner, Roger goes into his room to sleep but he hears some noises outside and decides to check it out. He is shocked to see another one of his maid, Helen, who is getting smashed by someone from behind the door. Roger somehow calms his BOI and goes back into his room, where he sees Bertha, who is hiding in his bed. Bertha starts to tell him about his aunt. She tells him that their Aunt Marguerite is still a virgin. Roger asks her, where did she get this info? She tells him that Helen told her. Roger asks her why didn't their aunt get married. Bertha tells him she doesn't know. But she has heard that she doesn't like being around with men. On the next morning, Bertha and Roger visit a river bank where all of their maids used to go to bathe and share their secrets. They were having a conversation. At this point, the other maids, including Ursula, make their way to the river bank. Roger and Bertha quickly hide behind a tree. While the maids were chit-chatting, Three dudes were passing by from the other side of the river, who also happened to be servants at Roger's house. As soon as they spot the maids, they start to show their meatballs to the maids from across the river. Ursula gets excited and shows her rainforest to them, and the way they react is priceless. All of these interactions were visible to Roger and Bertha as well. After this, Roger's elder sister Elisa arrives, who is welcomed by the family members. Elisa gives a hug to everyone except Roger. Roger gets disappointed due to this discrimination. Bertha takes a disappointed Roger to the church, where they climb to the top and listen to their aunt's confession. Their aunt Marguerite is confessing her sins in front of the father. She tells him that she has committed a very big sin. The father tells her to relax and just confess her sin. She tells him that she feels attracted to her nephew Roger and has imagined herself being intimate with him a couple of times. Roger, who is listening to her whole conversation feels good, knowing that at least there's someone in this house who cares for him. So, he gets excited and falls down and his cover gets blown. The father reports this to his mother, who asks him to decide a punishment for Roger. Father tells them to slap his ass ten times. With Wild Bush in order to teach him a lesson, Roger's mother approves of this punishment and asks Marguerite to punish him. While this is happening, Elisa's fiancé Roland arrives and laughs at Roger's situation, Marguerite is reluctant at first but after some convincing from her sister, she agrees and slaps him ten times. The housemaid Ursula and Roger's sister Bertha watch from outside the window. In the night, Roger is sleeping upside down because his back hurts like hell and can't bear his weight. He hears noises outside his room, and upon peeking out, he again sees Helen getting smashed by someone from behind the door, but he can't see the person enjoying the ride. Meanwhile, this time, his father's friend Mr. Frank was also enjoying the view along with Roger. Soon after, Ursula arrives and tells Roger that she witnessed his punishment and she knows that he is in pain, and if he wants, she can apply a healing cream. But Roger denies and says that there's no need to, but he asks her a question, which is, whenever he goes to sleep, he finds Helen getting smashed by some unknown person. 
He asks her if she knows who that person is. Ursula says it is a top secret of the maids and leaves. Roger goes deep in thought, and thinks when will he get to smash someone. It is then he remembers that he saw Mr. Frank enjoying the view today, and goes to his room to ask him if he knows something about the man. He spots Mr. Frank rubbing his meatball while watching something through the telescope. Mr. Frank gets startled by Roger and leaves immediately. After he leaves, Roger tries to look through the telescope and spots two souls enjoying the night. He realizes Mr. Frank is a bigger pervert than him. He also finds a book which has some interesting photos and stories, he takes the book and leaves. On the way to his room, he hears some noises from his parents' room and decides to peek through the keyhole. But Elisa's fiancé Roland catches him in this act. Roger requests him not to tell his parents about this and in return he'll do anything he wants. Roland takes advantage of this opportunity and gets Roger to wash his car. Later that day, Roger goes inside the stable and while reading the book, he gives a massage to his little soldier. One of the servant comes inside the stable and Roger hides quickly, some time later, Helen comes to feed the chickens, the servant guy locks her in the window and goes outside to smash. Helen spots Roger and asks him to help her. But as soon as he comes forward to help, she tells him to wait, because she was enjoying the ride. Roger becomes suspicious, and before he realizes what's going on outside, the other dude had finished his job. In the next scene, Roger is talking to her sister Elisa and her fiancé Roland. Roland says that his boots are very dirty and tells Roger to clean them up, which Roger denies to do. Roland becomes angry and tells his mother that he caught him peeking inside their room. Roger's mother becomes angry and tells Roger to get out of the house. Roger finds the opportunity to exchange his book with Elisa's book, and watches her as she reads it. By this time, Roger can no longer control his little soldier. So, he goes to meet with Ursula, who is at the kitchen. Roger grabs her from behind, but Ursula mistakes him for someone else and breaks a plate on his head. But she realizes it's Roger and gives him the green signal. But before they can do anything, a maid arrives and Roger has to leave. After this interaction, Roger's little soldier was out of control. He spots Miss Muller and determines that today, he will surely eat her melons, so, he follows her to a place and finally grabs her from behind, and starts to ride his horse cart. Miss Muller protests at first but soon begins to enjoy the ride. But Roger has to pause because, a postman arrives at the residence and announces that world war has started and Germany has attacked France. Due to this, every man in Roger's family will have to join the war, Mr. Frank states that he wouldn't join the war because he has asthma. When Roger gets the news that all of the men will have to leave and there will only be women in the house, he becomes very happy and thanks God for this opportunity. On the next morning, everyone leaves for the war. Roger now sets his eyes on Ursula, who also wants to be with him, so, she surrenders herself to Roger. Without wasting any time, Roger starts to unbox Ursula but she is wearing very complicated clothes and he is unable to unbox her. She helps him and they spend the whole night together. The following day, Bertha tells Roger that their mother is going to confess something to the father, so, they sneak inside their room. Their mother tells the father that her husband plays with her in different positions and she also enjoys it, but sometimes she thinks that she is committing a sin. Father tells her that she can do anything she wants with her husband and it will not be considered as a sin. On the next scene, we see another one of Roger's maid Kate, who is sitting at the river bank. Suddenly, Roger comes out of the water and starts to flirt with her and eventually smashes her. Later, Roger's father comes back for a few days. Because he was a colonel, he was allowed to come and go at his will. In the night, he spots Marguerite and Kate who are peeking at his parents' room. He slowly opens the door and goes inside where he sees his parents were doing a role play. They both get startled when they spot Roger inside their room and throw him out. After this event, Marguerite goes into her room and finds Roger in her bed. He tells her that he knows that she is still a virgin and he has come to help her. Marguerite is reluctant at first but after some flirting, she couldn't control herself and they both get into action. After that, Helen comes with tea, but because there were no other men in the house, she goes into Roger's room. He asks her why do you always come here at this time? Helen says that it is her duty to bring tea that's why. But before she can leave, Roger grabs her from behind and gives her a demonstration of his power. On the next day, Roger is playing with Bertha in the garden. It is then he spots Elisa and follows her to the stable. 
he starts to unbox her, she's also reluctant at first but since she is reading the book, she is unable to control herself and gets smashed by Roger in the stable. After this event, Roger was the king of his house, the maids now used to go to him in pairs and leave only after they were satisfied. Sometimes, Roger even used to deal with three of them at once. One day, after smashing in the open, Elisa tells Roger that she is pregnant, which almost gives a heart attack to Roger. It is then Roland arrives with his plane and declares that the war is over, and now all of the men have returned. Roger, now in big trouble starts to think ways to turn this game around. Suddenly, Ursula comes and tells him that she is also pregnant, and some time later, his Aunt Marguerite comes too and repeats the same thing. Roger now starts to use his mind to think of something, otherwise he is gonna get screwed big time. He gets an idea and asks Ursula to bring a red nail polish. With the nail polish, he goes to Elisa and convinces her to sleep with Roland tonight. He quickly paints the red nail polish in her bed, which will make Roland think that she was a virgin. Next, he goes to his aunt and tells her to marry Mr. Frank because he likes her and will take good care of her, to which she agrees. And finally, he goes to Ursula and proposes her for marriage, but she tells him that she already has someone who she wants to marry. After this, all three of them get married in the same day. Roger is successful in his attempt to bury his secret, and no one will ever know what he did in the absence of other men. After some days, his summer vacation comes to an end, and on the next day as he is getting ready to leave for boarding school, Helen comes and tells him that she is also pregnant. He tells her not to worry and says that he will find a husband for her. Helen tells him there's no need to, because multiple men in this house have spent quality time with her. So, she will blame the person whoever she likes and marry him. After this, Roger leaves for high boarding school and the story comes to an end. Thanks for watching.